Sindicato. Alright guys, so as you can see, my hair is very dirty and it is time for a shampoo. If this is your first time visiting my channel, then you wouldn't know, but my hair is low porosity. So that just means that I try to do pretty much every step of my like <laughs> hair routine, curly hair routine, wash day routine with warm water. So that's all I'm doing here is just wetting my hair down with warm to realistically probably hot water. And once my hair, you know, I've rinsed out, you know, pretty much as much as I can get of whatever was already in my hair, then I'm going to go in with the shampoo. So a couple of things to note about this shampoo is that first it is sulfate free, which is really important for someone like me because I do like to shampoo my hair at least once a week. Um, this just helps to, um, for me, keep my scalp clean. Also because I'm low porosity, I am very prone to build up. And also I just feel like it helps um, to in the long run, cut down on like knots, tangles and excess shedding. The second thing to know about this shampoo is that it is very thick. Um, this shampoo felt very like moisturizing, very luxurious. It wasn't stripping at all to my hair. And as you guys can see, I do take my shampoo from my roots to my ends. So having a shampoo that isn't very stripping is super important. So this is what my hair looks like immediately after rinsing out the shampoo. And as you guys can see, my curls are already starting to come to life. Now I'm gonna go in with the conditioner. And again, like <laughs> thick, thick is the word. This is probably one of the thickest just straight conditioners I've ever used on my hair. Um, I kind of had to like take my time and really work the conditioner in my hair in sections because it was so thick. But um, once I began to like really work it into my hair, it immediately started to make my hair feel very soft. So I'm just going to make sure that you know all my strands are thoroughly coated with the conditioner and do that to each section and let that sit in my hair for about 15 minutes After the conditioner has had time to sit in, you guys know this is the stage where I personally like to go in and detangle my hair. I will leave all the info, of course, on this brush in the description box. I already have a full review on this brush, but as you guys can see, it is gliding straight through my hair and um, I didn't have any problems like with slip. And this is what it looks like once I've rinsed out that conditioner. I do want to note that they do like specifically note to make sure that you rinse all the conditioner out. So um, after I rinsed out the conditioner, I'm just going in now with the cream styling jelly. And that is all that I have in my hair. I didn't use any leave-in because my hair felt moisturized enough after conditioning it for me to go straight in with the cream jelly. And the jelly has, I mean, it feels like a gelatin. It is, again, <laughs> very thick, but um, it also has tons of slip. Like I was able to super easy glide my brush through my strands and you guys will see right here that the definition that it gave my hair is crazy. Um, it doesn't have a strong enough hold to where I felt like I could have done a wash and go with it, but um, it definitely had a strong enough hold to where I felt like I could use it alone for a twist out. So I'm just going to twist my hair up. Um, I had a total of 26 <laughs> twists. People were kind of like, 
shot by that over on Instagram, but I did have a total of 26 twists and I let them air dry for a total of two days before I'm going to come back and unravel them for you guys and reveal my twist out. Hey guys, if you appreciate my content, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Become my cousin. Cousin? Now let's get back to the video. So it's been two days and I mean, I really didn't do anything too special to preserve my twist. You guys saw in my previous video, I even like pulled them up in like a cute little ponytail style. I wrapped some string around them. <laughs> I like, I didn't handle them with kid gloves at all. I was pretty rough with them and they still look amazing. Like my twists were super shiny and juicy. I posted a picture over on IG. You guys seem to really like it and I was really excited to reveal what I used. So let's just go ahead and start to unravel these twists and you know, show you guys this pop and twist out, honey. I'm taking a little bit of their Q oil. It feels like a serum. Um, it gives you like a nice shiny coat on the top of your twist and it also makes it really easy just to like slide your fingers down the twist. So I'm just gonna unravel each twist just one time to start. And I'm not gonna lie y'all, I was really shocked by the amount of definition that I had. Like the amount of definition on these twists, really was something like a gel. And again, this was like a jelly. And I'll talk to you guys more about it towards the end of the video. So just make sure you stay tuned to the very end for my real time final thoughts. But the definition is there, the shine is there. Like I was, I was super pleased, honey. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> So now I'm just gonna go back in and start to just fluff and gently separate the, you know, individual pieces that I separated the twist in. <laughs> you guys know what I mean. But um, what is really important about the way that I'm separating my twists or my sections of hair is I am not completely going through the ends of my hair. I am just really kind of running my fingers along like the first three fourths of the hair and um, just not taking it all the way through the ends. And this just kind of gives a more chunky, more fluffy twist out. Um, it gives it a different look to me than when I like separate them all the way to the end. It gives more volume and it just, I don't know. I like it better. I don't know. <laughs> if you guys do both ways, you guys may know what I'm talking about. Let me know which way you like better in the comment section, but I think this way works better for my fine hair. It gives me more volume. So these are the final results. I put a little, you know, some little cute accent pieces in the front and stay tuned to hear my final thoughts. Y'all, my hair looks good, like good, like, good music good like this is what i be wanting my hair to look like all the time put two little like jewelry pieces at the top for just a little character and if you guys are wondering like why my hair is hanging um i just have two clips in the back so 
sometimes it'll actually help your hair hang just from having the clips there like have them there for maybe like 30 minutes to an hour or so and when you remove them your hair is just a little bit stretched I have noticed that but I just typically do it if I want to take a picture and I just want to get a little bit of my length back and so we're just gonna go ahead and say the whole theme for this whole line is gonna be thick okay like thick like not medium thick not a little thick 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 like if this product line was a person this product line would be Jessica Dime okay <laughs> like that's how thick all of these products are this product y'all and what is so crazy is is that like I don't want to like tip it over it is it's still pretty thick but y'all I literally didn't even like I barely made a dent in this product and like my hair is thoroughly coated and my hair feels really good to maintain my hair since it is kind of giving me like the chunky twist out vibes even though you guys know I did 26 twists <laughs> I was talking to you guys about that over on Instagram and I was telling you guys I realized just by four of habit I normally do a total of 26 twists in my hair every single time that I do a twist out this still kind of looks like a chunky twist out to me so um, to preserve this I probably I'm going to attempt I'm gonna attempt to retwist my hair at least for the first two nights just to maintain this style because it looks really good put maybe about eight twists total in my hair and preserve it like a chunky twist out now if I had to suggest that you just try one product from the whole line like just pick one of course I'm gonna suggest this curl like styling jelly because <laughs> So that's it for this video guys if this was your very first time visiting my channel you definitely should be subscribed to my channel by the time you get to this part of the video okay you watched it all the way to the end of this video you invested your time go ahead and become my cousin cousin everybody else don't forget to thumbs up the video and leave a comment down below and I will see all of you guys in the next upload